Hi guys, I've come to talk to you today a little bit about Holy Week and what we do in my church in Buckers Till. I'm just going to see if I can get you a picture by sharing my screen of the church that I go to. It's a traditional Church of England church. It's kind of a church that you think when you think of churches that it looks exactly like a church. So that's my church where I go to. And what we do on in Holy Week is Every evening around about nine o'clock is that we will meet together in church and there will be a service that's really quite quiet. We sometimes play music, we sometimes sing a kind of a quiet reflective song, it's sometimes called a hymn. And then a person will read from the Bible, it will be telling the story again of what happened to Jesus in that week before he died, because the Bible gives a day by day account of what actually happened to Jesus before he died on the cross. And then we'll spend about half an hour actually just quietly in silence. We don't talk to anyone and we just think about God. We think about Jesus and think about what Jesus did to, for us as Christians when he died on the cross, because it was that act for him that actually meant that we could be close to God again. So what I've got right up here is a palm cross and the palm crosses are made from um, big palm leaves, um, which, you know, um, you, you see those when you go to the beach uh, on the tree. You, if you look at the, the really big palm leaves, that's what they cut and made and, and made into these crosses. And usually um, people sort of make them for um, Palm Sunday and, and you know, some people make it themselves, or sometimes uh, the church makes them and sends it out to, to people. Um, and it's just a reminder of the time when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and all his um, followers were just all around him, and they were shouting and screaming and celebrating, Hosanna in the highest. And they put these palm branches, um, they were waving their palm branches, and, they were, they, you know, some of them put them on the floor on which uh, the donkey was 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 um, as the donkey walked into Jerusalem. So it was absolutely an event that marked um, uh, Palm Sunday and Christians celebrate on Palm Sunday in remembrance of that time when Jesus was going into Jerusalem on his way um, to, to the cross. Um, and we see what happened in Holy Week when um, Good Friday, he laid his life and he rose on Easter Sunday. Um, so yeah, and if you look at it, you might think that they're made out of wood, but actually um, they're made out of those palm leaves. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about one of the Christian traditions that's called Maundy Thursday. Now Maundy Thursday is part of the week that happens the before Easter Sunday, and it happens on, you guessed, the Thursday. Now, in some Christian churches, people will meet and they will have a service together and a service will include singing songs, which are called hymns. Uh, the vicar or a reader will talk about something from the Bible. And also what happens is sometimes is the vicar or the priest there might actually wash the feet of the people there which kind of sounds really weird, doesn't it? Washing somebody's feet. But what it's remembering is, is that Jesus on the Thursday before he died, he met with his friends and had a meal, which is called the Last Supper. And there Jesus washed the feet of his friends. Now that's a pretty dirty job, isn't it? Washing people's feet. And do you know what? Those people that were there were so, so surprised that Jesus did that because it was always the job of the servant and it was kind of the most least important servant and Jesus wasn't a servant to them he was their teacher and he was their friend so that act of washing people's feet is remembering what Jesus did and also that Jesus told his friends and followers that they needed to love everybody just as Jesus had loved them also, on Maundy Thursday, what happens is the Queen of the United Kingdom, she has a service and she doesn't wash anybody's feet. Maybe she should. I don't know. But what she does is she gives out money to people and it's called Maundy Thursday money. And there's two bags. In one bag, there is normal coins that you or I will have. And there are as many of those coins in pennies as the Queen's age is. So do you know how old the Queen is? 
I'm not quite sure. She's 80, 90. She's quite old, isn't she? So that would be nearly a pound's worth of coins. And then also there is another coin bag that has the Maundy Thursday coins in them, which is quite special. And we're talking many, many, many years back. Um, in biblical days, it was a tradition not to have meat on Good Friday. Um, now, I know we are now in 2021. However, a lot of people, um, not just my tradition um, or heritage, a lot of people have followed that still um, and don't have meat on Fridays. Um, now, my heritage is Caribbean. And for us on Good Friday, we have a very weird, you could say, dish, which is called ackee and saltfish. You can see behind me. Um, and we also have it with dumplings, um, but we've uh, carried that on until now and we'll make a big thing, big breakfast on Good Friday, ackee and saltfish, no meat, and we'll add loads of other stuff with it. But that's what we do as a family on Good Friday. So as you can see, um, that's a hot cross buns um, and it's traditionally eaten on a Good Friday. And uh, on the top, of course, you can see there is a cross and in it, traditionally, there are five currants or raisins, and these represent um, the wounds of Jesus. And of course, today, uh, there are many more raisins in there, and you can find all sorts of flavors um, out there today, uh, which look, I wonder what is your favorite. But anyway, I'll leave that to you to decide. But this is uh, just a reminder of, of the role, um, of the journey to the cross of Jesus, and we eat it on a you know, Good Friday. For my family, um, as I was growing up from a little child, and to be honest, I probably still participate now, um, we used to dress in really, really bright and colourful colours on Sunday in particular, Easter Sunday, which we have known it to be Resurrection Sunday as well, um, because that was the day that Jesus rose uh, from the dead. And so we wanted to represent that in our clothes um, and alongside that, when we go to church on Sunday, we might have a celebratory service and um, everyone's happy because of obviously the good news that we everyone heard on that Resurrection Sunday. And so that's what we do as a family.